Hello and welcome to episode number nine of the Soggy Kookaburra podcast. This is my little corner of the internet where I get to talk about all my knitting and crochet adventures. If you're a first time viewer, welcome aboard the crafty train. And if you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for joining me again. My name's Cathy, I'm coming to you from a small town in North Wales where I live with my husband, our son, and our two cats, Pickle and Puka. And you can probably see Puka perching on the computer desk there and she's a bit obsessed with my recently put up Christmas decorations so expect chaos in the background. Apologies in advance for any distraction. Anyway you can find me on Ravelry and on Instagram as Soggy Kookaburra. We actually have a Ravelry group as well so feel free to pop along and locate us. We are the Soggy Kookaburra podcast on Ravelry Small but very enjoyable group at the moment, so feel free to join. As always, I will be putting links to everything that I talk about in the description bar down below. And if you enjoy, oh, she's going to get that star. And if you enjoy this uh, video, please feel free to subscribe. It'd be wonderful uh, to, for you to subscribe and then get a notification when I post. Sorry, I'm distracted already. Puka, leave that alone. Anyway, <laughs> today is the Sunday, the 2nd of December. I can't believe we're into December already. Summer doesn't seem that long ago, but we are getting into the festive spirit here. So today I've got my, many, many big plans. I'm going to decorate the house. This is our first year in our very own home. So I am anticipating an all out Christmas festive extravaganza, getting all my decorations out and all my lights and all the rest of it. So that's my plan for today after I do this. Sorry, got my coffee as per usual. So shall we crack on? First up, finished projects. I have three finished projects this month, which is not bad going because truth be told, I've been absolutely flat chat at work. So I really haven't had the time at home knitting and crocheting that I would like. However, three is not bad. So first up, you'll have seen these as a work in progress in the previous episodes. These are the wool-free socks that I have made as a Christmas gift. So now that I've shown them, I can wrap them. There are two, I've just got one on the blocker. I'm actually really pleased with how these have come out. They're incredibly soft and smooth, which I know I've said before um, when I've talked about making them. I'm really, really pleased with them. So the yarn is, Yarn Lane Perfect Pair in the River Colourway. And the pattern is the basic ribbed sock pattern by Kate Atherley Designs on Ravelry. It's a free pattern, so I do recommend you check it out. Especially if you're not sure on the size of your uh, recipient's leg, lower leg. Because of the ribbing in it, it is super, super stretchy. Um, but it also helps to keep the socks up. I've made myself a pair of this pattern and they're some of my most comfortable homemade socks. So yeah, I'm really pleased about those. So they're going to get wrapped up this afternoon and put under the tree ready for Christmas. Now, I never use 100 grams when I make socks. I don't know why, but I never do. And I thought that I would be a bit creative and make something with the leftover yarn to add in with this Christmas gift. So I branched out from my usual socks and made a pair of mitts. Are they cool? I'm really, really pleased with them. They're lovely and soft. Now, considering it's my first ever go, they're not exactly matching, but they're pretty close. And I thought, you know what, for a first attempt, and luckily the person, the recipient of these is a crafter herself, and so she will understand that things, sometimes when they're handmade, are not perfect and all the better for it. But anyway, so aren't they lovely? Just, you know, really quite straightforward, nice rib. Uh, so lots of stretch and then like a gusset for the, the thumb. Oh, so really pretty, really, really like them. So again, the yarn is the same as the socks, the Yarn Lane Perfect Pair Wool Free. And the pattern is Jacoby by Berico Design Team. And again, that is on Ravelry for free. So they don't look much when, <laughs> when they're not on, do they? But they do stretch. So I'm really, really chuffed with them. So they're going in with the socks. Quite pleased with that. So that's finished project number two. I enjoyed that so much. You may recall that I made uh, some time ago 
a socket hat, a sparkly monochrome socket hat, which I have been wearing quite a bit because I go for a walk on a Saturday in the evening with my friend and his dog, and it can be quite chilly. So I have my socket hat and I had some leftover yarn, so I made myself a pair of matching mitts. Same pattern as before. There we go. And I have actually worn these out. I wore these out last night when we were walking. Oh, let's see. There we go. And uh, yeah, toasty warm matches my hat, which I love. I love that sort of subtle matchy matchy hat mitts. Very, very happy. It's going to be great on those frosty mornings when I'm driving to work. I've got um, a, a leather steering wheel, which is very, very cold, but I also need my fingers free. So uh, yeah, I'm really, really pleased with how they've come out. Now these, because they've got the Stellina in them, they are a little bit scritchy. Now I don't mind that, but I, I word of warning, I think if you're uh, a little bit sensitive to scritchy yarn or you're making them for somebody who might be, I wouldn't necessarily recommend a, one with sparkle in it for this because it does sit on your inner wrist. As I say, it doesn't bother me, but I know that some people do react a little bit to slightly scritchier yarns. So yeah, but anyway, I'm happy. I'm very, very pleased. And it's nice actually to make something for myself, a practical, useful sort of thing that I'm gonna wear quite regularly. I have to admit though, when I wore this hat to work, we had a particularly cold uh, morning uh, last week, week before last, it was really chilly anyway. It was minus two when I left for work in the morning. And uh, I wore this and I got so many comments about my hat. Where did you get that hat? That's really cool. And I'm like, I totally made it, which was great fun. And everybody at work now thinks I'm a, a nana that sits home and knits because they're Philistines, but anyway. So yes. There you go, that's my three finished objects. Very, very pleased with all of those. In terms of works in progress, so as I say, I haven't really done as much knitting and crochet as I'd have liked. However, I have got a few things on the boil at the moment. So first up are my festive socks. So I'm participating in the uh, festive sock along, which is being run by Stranded Dye Works, and uh, it's uh, Amy at Stranded Dye Works. Great podcast, by the way. I highly recommend it. And uh, of, as the name suggests, festive sock along. It's making festive socks. So these are my festive socks thus far. It's that ribbed pattern. So it's basic ribbed socks with just a normal modified eye of partridge heel in contrasting yarn. And obviously the cuff is contrasting. I'm just about down to the toe. Um, and I think that's probably why it's stopped there because I still need to look at the pattern for the toe decreases because I get terribly confused otherwise. The rest of it I can do without thinking. The toe and the heel still need that pattern just to, just to reference. But anyway, I'm really pleased with how this is looking. So this yarn is West Yorkshire Spinners. It's last year's Christmas um, yarn, which is called Candy Cane. And as always, it's 75% uh, Superwash Merino and 25% Nylon. So great sock yarn. And as I always bang on about with West Yorkshire Spinners yarn, it wears like iron, which when you're wearing socks as often as I do, very good thing. So yeah, that, that's that. And then the contrasting color on this one is cayenne pepper. Again, West Yorkshire spinners. But I'm, I'm really chuffed with how they're coming out. They're a little bit, um, excuse all the tails. That's gonna be an absolute nightmare to weave in, but never mind. It's a little bit vintagey looking. You can see it's not like crisp white. It's a sort of a, an off-white, a creamy white. And I really like that. I, I quite like that slightly faded vintage look. So yes, anyway. So I'm cracking on with those. They're just they're just my pickup for fun, and and I'm keeping them in a big bag because obviously I've got two balls of yarn in there and all the rest of it. So yeah, so cracking on with those. I'd really like for them to be done for Christmas, but I'm not bothered if they're not. You know, as I've said before, for me, my knitting, my crochet, it's very much a hobby. I do what I want when I want, and uh, so if I fancy working on them, great, and if I don't. They don't get worked on. It's not the end of the world. The other thing that I'm working on at the moment, and I absolutely love this. So I've finished one. It's another pair of socks. These are just vanilla socks. Now, I've tried a few different patterns. Hermione's Every Day, the ribbed socks, the vanilla latte, which is 
I, I lied actually, those Christmas ones are the vanilla latte socks, they're not the ribbed socks. Anyway, um, what was I saying? <laughs> okay, yeah, vanilla socks. What I have found is the most comfortable socks for me thus far are just plain vanilla. In that vein, I am making these. So I finished one. I really do need to get bigger sock blockers. But look at the sparkle. It's so sparkly. So sparkly and pretty. These just make me ridiculously happy. I've absolutely whipped through this first one. I haven't cast on the second one yet, mind you. <laughs> Again, it's, it is genuinely just a really basic vanilla sock. Just plain stockinette, modified eye of partridge heel because I just love that and it fits me really well. Normal decrease on the toe with a kitchener stitch at the end. Really, really happy. Now I cast on, for me, I cast on 64. But I don't know, I've never done a gauge swatch so I have no idea if I'm a tight knitter, a loose knitter. No idea. I don't tend to make things that need a gauge swatch. Um... But I've, I just find these fit absolutely perfectly. So I've, I've made a few pairs of vanilla using this exact pattern, this exact recipe, if you like. So I know that when these are done, I am going to live in them because they are just amazing. And unlike the other yarn with Stellina in it, these are not especially scratchy. As I say, it doesn't really bother me anyway. But I do love the sparkle. The only downside is I've been taking photos on Instagram. Do you think my camera can pick up the sparkle? Nope. Hello, Puka. She's a cheeky cat. She's enjoying getting into all the boxes. I've got my Christmas decks out of the garage, and yeah, she's really enjoying getting into all the all the boxes, sniffing out all this new stuff. So anyway, the yarn for this is what is the yarn for this? Opal sock and wool. Sorry, I'm looking over here because I've got my notes over here, uh, and it's the colorway nine three three one, which is not very inspiring, is it? But uh, the colour's amazing, even if the name is not. I think I'm going to, because I'm enjoying these so much, I think I'm going to keep an eye out for similar sort of yarns. This bright, rainbow, sparkly, fun sock yarn. Um, my day-to-day -day at work is very monochrome. Um, not, not, you know, it's not enforced. It just tends to be what I wear for work. Is is you know, black or black with like a hint of something so for me, being able to wear brightly coloured socks under my trousers or whatever, or my long skirts, just like so much fun, because I know they're there. Oi! You leave that star alone. That star's actually going to be going on top of my Christmas tree, but I just thought it looked so pretty that I would put it in so you could see it. And you can see my wreath as well. I'm trialling a sticky suction cap to see whether it's going to be suitable or whether I'm going to have to put something into the door um, out the front. So I'm trying it to see whether it will stay. So far, so good. Touch wood. So they're my two works in progress uh, that I've actually been working on anyway. Um, as I say, I haven't really done as much knitting and crochet as I would like. I have got, coming up, a nice break over Christmas. Um, the company I work for operates a shutdown for the office staff for two weeks. So, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to my 12 days off over Christmas. So I break up... Uh, the afternoon of Christmas Eve and I pretty much intend to stay at home for the majority of those 12 days and just you know I'm such a homebody and I can just chill out on the couch watch my documentaries knit crochet etc but one of the things I'm going to try and do before I break up for Christmas is make some soap cozies now I can't remember where I came across this idea but I, I may have probably stumbled across it when I was browsing on Ravelry, as you do. And uh, I really, really liked it. I like this idea of having like a little cozy to put a bar of soap in. And I have a ridiculous amount. I'm gonna show you how much cotton yarn I have. Uh-oh, uh dropping them. That's how much there is. I can't even hold it all. Look at all of that. Plus the ball that I dropped. It's all cotton yarn. Now some of it, so these, these brightly coloured ones in the bags. When I went to the US last year, literally got off the plane and drove straight to the Lion brand outlet. Uh, didn't even stop for anything else. That was the first stop. So literally within 20 minutes of landing in Newark, I was at the Lion brand um, 
outlet store and of course purchased yarn and one of the things I bought was cotton yarn. I'd never worked with cotton yarn before with the idea that I would make some um, some dish holders, pot holders and other such things, which I did. I made some for my mum because she moved to a new house and had a, a fantastic green or has a fantastic green theme in her kitchen. So I made her some um, pot holders to go there. And anyway, I was looking at these soap cozies and they look really simple, but really fun. And I thought, you know what? I've got all this cotton yarn. I'm probably not going to use it for anything else. I might just make some soap cozies and maybe pop them into Christmas stockings for people. Or, you know, if I really get into it, I'm, I may well, because I've got, I bought some packs of soap because they're so cheap, aren't they? Um, but I thought, you know, it might actually be nice to give to homeless charities as well. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. But um, I, I think that's going to be my future work in progress is making some soap cozies, see how I get on. They're only little, they crochet, which of course works up so, so quickly. And I just think it'd be a bit fun. And I've got so many beautiful colors that I think I could probably match anybody's tastes, if you like. So that's my plan. Um, hopefully by the next time that I record, I will have done at least one and can show you. It will be after Christmas though, so they may have been used if I'm lucky. Um, I might keep a sample one to one side just so I can show you. Uh, so yeah, next episode will be in January, probably the day before I go back to work after the Christmas break. So uh, I may or may not do a little blog update between now and the new year. If I don't, then I wish you all a very, very happy Christmas, festive season, whatever it is that you celebrate and uh, all the very best for the new year. And I will see you in the new year. As I say, if you've enjoyed this uh, this episode, please feel free to subscribe. Once we hit 50 subscribers, then we will be doing a giveaway as well. So keep that in mind. That will come through in the new year. I think that's everything then. I'm going to finish my coffee. I'm going to nip to the shops and get more milk because I need more milk to do more coffee. And then I'm going to decorate my house. Oh, and get my grumpy teenage son out of bed. That's the plan. Have a fantastic month and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.